Yo, what's going on, y'all? So today's gameplay is going to be a little bit different. It's a solo duo gameplay, but I'm going to walk through the gameplay and talk about my mindset as far as gunfights, approaching a duo, and rotation and positioning. So in Warzone 2, we all know uh, there's no movement. There's not a lot of maneuverability. So it, to fight multiple people at once, you really have to put yourself in the best position possible to do damage without taking damage. So a lot of that time, you have to be patient. You can't rush into fights. You have to uh, take an extra second to think about what you're doing. So we're going to go through it. Uh, let me know what y'all think. I hope y'all do enjoy the video. I want to do more videos like this, maybe solos, solo trios, and solo squads. I do appreciate all the love that I've been getting. Uh, if you haven't already, man, please click that sub button, subscribe to the channel. We got a lot more content to come. I hope y'all enjoy it. Much love, y'all. Peace. I do pull my shoot a couple times. When I want to have a good game or a successful game, I don't just dive right to the roof. This is where I like to land. Uh, if there's 10 people landing there and I want to have a successful game, I probably should pick somewhere else. I also like to see where people are going. If they, if there are people coming here, I see people landing at this observatory building right here. I know there's people there. There's not a lot of people on the roof. So I just land on the roof, uh, gun spawn, uh, close, this close side right here in the middle of the roof and on the far side, uh, and also sometimes right in the middle of the side. Roof. So I grab a gun. If you're the first one to land you can grab a gun and look up. Uh, this time there's only one guy, but usually uh, if it's hot, it could be four or five people up here and it'll, it'll just be easy kills at that point. So like I said, this is a free kill. All he has is a pistol. I've seen his, I've seen uh, his teammate land over there to our left, but he's just going to run away. So I thirst, I look down here just to see if I see anybody in the open. Uh oh. I don't see anybody. I don't hear anybody. I don't want to stay up there too long just because you can't hear a lot of things. So if somebody does climb that back ladder behind me, I won't be able to hear him. So I just want to always stay moving. We loot up. We get our loot. We get a decent amount of money. So I push to this side. Like I said, the stronghold is going to be on this side. It comes with 10 seconds left on uh, the first circle. So we know the strongholds here. We got the buy station here so I can buy a gun. I can buy a UAV whatever I want to buy. And there's also a team that we seen land here earlier. So I just push over here. It's the fastest rotation. This team didn't push over to me. So I know they are on this side of the map or they jumped off and I just buy. But I'm still being cautious. Even though I hear crates, I see the windows broken. I find more money. So I'm just going to buy a UAV. My plan is usually to buy a UAV. I pop the UAV before I buy my before I buy my gun, just because I don't want to get caught in a buy station. And this is why as soon as I popped the UAV, I see this guy heard me. So when he heard me, he's sitting outside the door. So if I'm stuck in the buy station, that's a free kill for him. And that's why I usually wait a second. So I wait one more UAV ping just because I see his teammate behind me I'm trying to fight right here. Like if I bust open that door, there's not a lot of cover there. So if I open this door and they're both right here, it's going to be a much harder fight. And like I said, this game is about positioning. I don't have to do that to kill these two guys. So I wait the one ping. I see his teammate pushing over. I want to make sure he's not pushing over this way. So I try to see if I can listen. Then I just back up and reposition myself. And rightfully so, they're both sitting at this door. I get shot, but it's not a lot of damage. I, uh, I run, I reposition, I hop this wall. So when I hop this wall, I see that there's a guy here I'm, and I just wait to see if he comes out the door, his teammates here. So in my mind, I think they're trying to pinch me. So I wait to see which one pushes. I hear his teammate on the left, so I shoot him. Like I said, I hop this wall, I'm on a head glitch. It's harder for him to see me. Um, even if he's running, he might not expect me to be there. So he just runs away just because there's nothing he could do. And I also noticed that he has blue armor. Here, I don't chase him just because I know I cracked his armor. I don't want to chase him. I have my UAV. I know his teammates with him. Uh, I know he's either going to, if I chase him, he's either going to come around this door and uh, come out this door and shoot me in the back, or he's already on that side pre aiming. So I just reload. I get my use. I'm using my UAV in a better position. I see that they're both outside. So he went out there to help his teammate. So me repositioning, I bust open his door. Uh, I want him to know I'm inside. To see if I can catch him running around the corner, which I do. I get the first knock. I could have thirsted him there, but 
um i see where his teammates at i see his teammates on the other side so maybe by this window um i don't thirst because i want his teammate to feel like he has to rest if i thirst him his teammate can either camp he can run away you know he can go hide somewhere but if they're both still alive he's gonna feel like he has to either fight me to rest his teammate or stick the rest so that's the that's the reason i don't thirst even if he has self rest his teammate has to stay in the area so i don't re-knock him so all i do is just like i said reposition myself i know he was outside somewhere right here so i just uh pre-aim when i come out the door and he's already there so after i kill these two guys boom i got money i hear somebody dropping in i don't see him i just get the money i um I already bought a uav out of here so i'm just gonna buy my gun and i'm gonna wait for the stronghold building to open up i buy my gun just in case it's not a stronghold building that way uh, I already have a gun and I just pick up the money and the loot out of that building. And I can keep I can keep moving. So I pop the UAV. I see teams up here. Top stream. Uh, the good thing about this fight is that it's close to the zone uh, and I don't have to rotate far. To, I don't have to rotate far to get into the zone because if I was fighting back at village still, then I'll have to rotate up the mountain to zone. Uh, yeah, to the zone. And then that's when people hold you, uh, just hold you, pre-aim you and wait for you because there's a lot of people that like to play the edge of the storm in this game when we got up here we know uh this is where the uav pings were we hear them fighting in this building so we go to push the building and we get airstrike now if i got mortar strike i would stay there i'm not scared of mortar strikes mortar strikes are terrible airstrikes are very op so we run away and if you get airstrike, it's a good idea to see where the airstrike is coming from. Is it coming from bottom to top? Or if it's uh, if it's coming from top, uh, bottom to top, top to bottom, or left to right? Because if it, say if it came from here and it, he airstrike this spot, I probably would still die around here. Airstrikes are just OP and weird. So. Wait for the airstrike. We push back over. I just go back up here on this wall uh just to see if i see a guy in this window a preem this window i do so we do pick up a knock when we get up the knock we uh push over when you push over this close you can hear res noises you can hear you can hear self reses and everything his teammate is in there resing i hear him try to get off of the res but he doesn't know that i can mantle up and jump through the window on the back side so he thinks i'm coming up the stairs and while he's pre-aiming the stairs i shoot him in the back that's usually why i don't like to take the stairs I try to find different ways in the buildings because you catch people off guard just like this. Uh, using these buildings as cover, we don't know where people are at. Uh, if we can make it to one of these buildings. So if we can get up there and try to jump off when his zone pushes in, we're just making our way around here. Usually there's people camping around here. Now, don't know where they're at. Once again, we see the guy fly off to our right. So we know that there's people in the area, but this is where the audio is so bad. Because we don't, this guy is sprinting up to us. We don't hear anything. Uh, I'll rewind it. So we don't, he sprints up. We don't hear anything. And he scares me. And I just start shooting because I hear something close. So I know he's close. We pick up the kill. And now we just, we don't know where his teammate's at. There's cluster strikes going on. We don't know where any's back. anybody's at. We're just... Taking a second, taking a second to look at the area. We see the cluster going off over there, but it could have missed. We throw a smoke because we don't have any plates. We need to get some of his. We need to get some of this guy's loot. No press. Grab the gas mask. We check to see if we can get anybody any easy kills by the zone. We don't stay here too long. Now we start rotating. We know that there's people up at this building, right? We seen these people earlier, but if we we have 35 seconds before the zone moves in, so if we wait till the zone moves in, it limits our options while we're rotating. Now, uh, me rotating, I'm just checking. I know there's people over here. I'm looking up, just trying to be cautious of where people are at. So we get up. If, so we're pretty much just trying to out rotate the teams that are ahead. If there's people behind, we want to out rotate them. If there's people in front of us we don't want to fight them and the zone at the same time so this is the that's the benefit of rotating early we have high ground we have a self-res so even if we go down 
We more than likely won't get thirsted unless we get airstrike. Now, we see these two guys here. Now, we wait for them. We knock one. We don't we don't thirst right away. We try to get the other knock. Now here I should have reloaded. I should have reloaded before I called the airstrike. But we call the airstrike and then we reload. As we're reloading, the guy gets up. I think we knock I think we knock him again. Or somebody took the kill. So he still died. Somebody just took the kill from us. But once again, we just killed killed two people. One and a half, whatever. Didn't take any damage. We hit our shots. It was just an easy, it was an easy team wipe. And we're in a better position. Nobody's nobody's behind us to come up and sneak up on us. We're right next to the zip if we hear the zip. So now we're now we're just looking for easy picks. Somebody does call a UAV. So I airstrike this. I airstrike this because that's the team that took my kill. That's the team that was pushing over from this building earlier. I see this guy in the middle. Uh, in the middle of this, under this arch, uh, as I'm jumping off, uh, I just want to see if he sees me. I pull my shoot. I pull my shoot back here, so he uh, just in case. I'm not sure if he's gonna get that enemy landing in notification. So if I pull it back here, he won't get that notification. And he's focused on a team that I airstrike. Boom. Pick up an easy kill. It's not a team wipe. So all we do is just reposition real fast. Oh, by the way, if y'all don't run smokes, I recommend it. I know some people run like stuns and stuff, but smokes get you out of a lot. Even though there are people running thermal scopes now, not a lot of people are. So we just get our smokes back, get some ammo back. Now, they're fighting. We When we seen the smoke, we want to push over. But like I said, I was trying to like, I was forcing myself to be patient in gunfights. So, that team cluster. I don't want to shoot that team yet because I don't want them to focus on me. I see the guy that they're shooting. Boom. I get that easy kill. Once I steal their kill, then they start looking at me. And that's why I didn't want to shoot them earlier because I didn't want them to focus me. And I didn't want this other guy to focus me. So I just shoot at him to scare him. Once again, I use my airstrike to, to rotate. I make sure nobody else is in front of me or behind me. I'm sorry. And I just use my airstrike to rotate. Me airstriking that gets them off of that high ground and they're not looking at me. All I'm trying to do here is just rotate, get to a get to a good position uh, to play the end game. So I'm running past this building. I hear them fighting. Now I'm just creeping. The team that's up here is not focused on me. I'm aim walking, just trying to creep. Now, I don't know where this team's at. I'm assuming that they're above me. When we get here, I don't want to climb this ladder right away because they'll hear it. I'm just taking, I'm just taking my time. I'm just move like moving slowly. I see this guy. This is a free kill. Once I get this kill though, then I start worrying about the team above me. I steal that kill. Now I think in my mind, I stole the kill from the team that was above me because I think they're above me the whole time. So now it's time for me to see if they're up here or fight them. And luckily when I got up here, there was nobody up here. Now, just to pause for a second, it's six zone. We have 19 kills. There's 16 people left. We're at the highest part of the last zone. There's only one way up the way that we just came. So nobody can, nobody can sneak up on us. Now we just get free kills. This is what I mean with like position. Positioning beats everything. We get this knock. We airstrike it because his teammates over there. We're just looking behind us. We get another knock and we get our kill. Now, there are people rotating in under us. Like you gotta know that there's people rotating in under you. So all I do is just go throw the cluster mine by the ladder. So, and there's, uh, we all know cluster mines are OP. Once again, I'm just at the highest position of the last zone. I'm not gonna give up my position. But we know that there's people under the bridge. We didn't. So we thought we got that knock, but somebody else killed him. But we did get a hit with our cluster mine. Now, so we did see somebody shoot 
uh shoot or hit our cluster mine so we jump down i honestly thought the cluster mine got it down so when i jump in here i expect one of these guys to be just like weak or just got res they both have purple armor they are they're fully plated this is just Kai timing working in my favor. So we catch Kai timing with these two guys. I, I shoot this guy first. I think that he's weak, but he's not. So once I realize that he's not weak, I have to knock one. So I just shoot this guy. I keep Once I get the knock, I just keep shooting and get that guy as weak as possible. They have the Magnums. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of bullets in them. So he, he thinks I'm running away. So he sticks the res and closes the door. I just shoot through the door. Boom. I know he ran to the right, so he's going to be over here. I reload my Fennec, and he's he's weak, and I'm weak. At this point, I'm taking a chance, but I'm trying to catch him off guard because he doesn't think I'm going to push. See? I catch him off guard, and I just get a, I get a, uh, it wasn't an easy wipe, but an easier wipe. So I wait. I know there's people in here. We got zone, and now, like I said, we just get easy kills at the end of the game. Like, boom, we reload. We know that the other guy's in there because we didn't knock him. We just wait for him. We got a durable. We have gas masks. We knock him. So after we get the easy wipe, uh, we just climb back to the top of this building. Like I said, reposition ourselves. Get up, get high ground. Playing the edge like this is dangerous, but this is the only way that we can see what's under us. So we play the edge. We look, we see a team under us. He mounts up. Now, reach out in this wasn't good because then they both start shooting us. So we lost plates. We almost went down, but we still have high ground. All we do is we rotate to the next building over and we have to plate. So we have we have to plate. We hear somebody coughing, so we know somebody's uh, either behind us or under us. When you're getting held and when you're getting out rotated. So I did get out rotated here. One of the best things that you can do if you have a gas mask, especially a durable one, is at the end of the game, is just eat the gas a little bit. Some people might not have a gas mask or not everybody does it like here. I'm if I jump down right now, I have no cover to jump anywhere. There's nothing in there I can hide behind. I know there's two people on my right hand side under me. They know I'm here because they already cracked me. So I just back up and all I do is just eat the gas. I sit in the gas and like I said, see, they're rotating early. They're trying to get they're trying to get cover. So I just catch them on the rotation. Now we reload. We there's somebody under us coughing. We know he doesn't have a gas mask, so he's either going to be weak or he's going to play the gas and he's going to keep going down. So we're not really worried about him yet. We get the knock. The guy that's under us comes out. We almost died to the gas mask animation. Now, this is where it got sketchy because we killed the guy under us. We knew he was there. We knocked this guy, but we know he's self resident. It's only one person left. Now, I'm trying to just get behind this cover as fast as I can. He doesn't have a gas mask. He's coughing. Now, we almost don't make it. Now, like once again, we did get a little bit lucky. He's weak and we just pick up a free kill. Right. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I appreciate y'all for watching. If y'all made it this far, uh, we will get better at it. We will improve. I do want to do more tips and tricks because as I'm going through gunfights and going through games, there are a lot of things that go through my mind. So sometimes I do miss things and breakdowns. So if you want to see more breakdowns, of clips and everything, just let me know in the comments. Once again, thank y'all for watching. Subscribe if y'all haven't. Like the video. Appreciate y'all, man. Y'all have a good one.